making some mini sausage meatballs. Tomorrow is National Biscuits and Gravy Day. So I thought I'd put a recipe together for you. So I'm going to add my sausage meat. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of sage. I have one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, and one teaspoon of onion powder. Let's get this mixed up and start rolling. sausage meat mixed up. I'm going to do a measured teaspoon, put it onto my pit bus butcher paper, and then I'm going to get it into the smoker. one teaspoon uh, meatballs that I made for my biscuit and gravy. Well, tomorrow is National Biscuit and Gravy Day and I am from Canada. I'm not sure if you all know that, but we don't have biscuits and gravy and I have never tried it and I've always wanted to. So what better time to jump on board? Let's get this done. So this is my biscuit and biscuit recipe, which is on my webpage, justagirlandherkitchen.com. Um, but I am skipping the cheese and the ham because I want the sausage to be the show. Um, so I have baking powder sugar, cream of tartar, salt. In here I have um, chives, parsley, garlic powder, onion powder. I think that's about it. <laughs> and then I have milk and butter. Let's get this all mixed up. completely I am going to add look at this look at this smoked sausage meatballs that I made so now it's time to just I call them drop biscuits um Obviously, I'm not making them the traditional round flat way. I am going to kind of flatten them up a little bit so that we kind of want the gravy to be in pockets, I think, right? <laughs> I think so. That's how I have my potatoes anyway. There's a sausage in the bottom of that one. Let's turn that around. Let's show that sausage. So I'm just going to portion these all out. I've already got the grill warmed up. I'm doing them at 375 and then we will do the gravy. They're all ready for the grill. Well, tomorrow is National Biscuits and Gravy Day. Let's get those cooked. So these have been in for 20 minutes. Let's have a look. Oh, they're coming. They are coming quite nice and they smell amazing. So, so how do you test? Let's have a look. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. So let's check and see where our biscuits are at. And they are beautiful and they are coming off. Let's open up the sear plate and let's get our sausage gravy going. Okay, 
Okay, so now that our biscuits are done, let's make some sausage gravy. First, we're gonna fry the sausage, then I'm gonna add um, flour in there. I have onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and thyme, and then some milk. So I put my um, cast pan over top my sear plate. I'm gonna leave it there for a couple of minutes, get super hot, and I'm gonna add my sausage. I'm gonna fry up the sausage, and then we're gonna make our gravy. I've got my utensils I'm gonna need. There's my breakfast sausage, and there is my garlic oil from that garlic confit I did. It's on my webpage at justagirlandherkitchen.com. Let's get going. that all flavored up and then we can add the flour cook that and then add our milk and then we should be good to go i've never tried biscuits and gravy before i've always wanted to but i never wanted to try it at a restaurant i didn't like it i didn't the money so when i saw that it was national biscuits and gravy why wouldn't i sausage is ready get our flour in there cook that up for a couple minutes and then we can add our milk i'm really excited to try this dish glenn and i have never actually tried it so it'll be nice that was three cups of milk by the way the recipe will be on my webpage. the longer you cook it the thicker it's gonna get so as soon as it gets to be just before you're perfect thickness just remove it because it's going to thicken as it sits as well a little bit how perfect is this yum that is really starting to thicken up very nice look at that really nice and thick now it's time to plate it up 